While squatting down to take a piss in a bathroom stall, I read, Gender is a universe and we are all stars scribbled on the wall. I was so in awe by this and went home and poured myself a flask. I crawled on top of the roof to ponder what I read. I stared with amazement at the vastness of constellations and just wondered if God has become an angry drunk because of the ignorance and intolerance he sees in us. Are we like the stereotype, criticize, nitpick, compare black and white, judge each other based off of our pants size and hairstyles? I guess that's what every time I go out, go out at night, someone always seems to ask me, well, hello, are you a dude or a dyke? Oh. And all I want to say is, um, nice to meet you, dude, brah. I don't know. How about you ask your girlfriend since she's the one who went down on me last night? <laughs> but I'm afraid to just say, well, I'm a little bit of both and sometimes neither. Give him a hug to walk away as he stands there intrigued, still trying to figure me out. And I'm not really offended as much as I am saddened by how it never occurred to this guy that people's sexual preference doesn't diminish the fact that we are all still human. It's an atrocity that we have to be reminded of this. Did you know that it took nearly 300 years after the first American settlement before the white men acknowledged that black people have souls too? And I wonder if it's going to take nearly 300 more before people quit telling me that they think it's cute that I kiss girls as if my lifestyle is some trendy fashion statement, gave the graduation bullshit like I'm a curious exhibitionist. I wish my mom would quit telling me that this is a stage that I'm going through and learn to appreciate that this is a skin her daughters finally feel comfortable enough in for me to tell her about girlfriends. Because from the second grade until I was a sophomore in college, I was taught to camouflage my feelings because the stage of Mississippi has it written that love can only exist between a man and a woman as if a state has the right to dictate who you want to spend the rest of your life with. But on nights when I'm sleeping next to someone soft here in Austin, Texas, I can't help but wonder about the ones still struggling in my hometowns like Mikey, about to put a silencer over his heartbeat because it thumped too loud whenever Andrew walked into the room. He was afraid that Calvary or Lucy him or Irene, who used to dye her hair bright blue to distract people from staring in dismay at her and Shay's interlocked fingers, whose only crime was wanting to grow old together, as if homosexuality is some sort of disease instead of just another form of loving. Tonight, I don't want to have to explain myself. I am tired of having to explain myself. Perhaps I'll just get drunk with God again so he can hear me when I ask him to keep an eye out and I read or Mikey or anyone else is being taught to be ashamed of themselves for their feelings tonight. I don't want to be distinguished as gay, straight, lesbian, queer, dude or dyke just human because like I read gender really is a universe and when are we going to accept that we are all but mere stars a part of the same great galaxy nice.